Hello. Now I'm going to show you how to work with the scope block and fist block. In the previous session, we discussed how to work with the constant and the product block. See, this is the switch block. This switch block works based on if else logic. See, observe here, it has four terminals. One, two, three, four. Three input terminals and one output terminal. Here, input terminal one and input terminal three are called as data inputs. And input terminal two called as control input. The output of this switch block depends on the condition given at terminal 2. Suppose the given condition at terminal 2 is satisfied, then input 1 is the output. If the given condition at terminal 2 is not satisfied, then Terminal 3 is the output. The conditions at terminal 2 are like this. Terminal 2 greater than equal threshold value. The terminal 2 value greater than threshold value. Terminal 2 value not equal to G. Now next go for scope block. This is a scope block. This in this scope block you can display signals as a function of simulation time. The signal may be a constant signal or periodic signal, any periodic signal. We can also display multiple waveforms with common time range. Now I will show you how to implement, how to work with this switch block and scope block. Select a blank project, select the blank project. Let's go for semic library, which is the commonly used block. Let's drag the components required to you and the scope block. And the next uh, switch block. And we take some constant. We discussed in the constant block in the last session. This is a switch, switch block. It has three input terminals. You see three constant blocks in the This is terminal 1, this is terminal 2, this is terminal 3. Output is connected by four blocks. So observe the wave form. So observe the output. Input, constant input or waveform input, whatever it is. See here I am giving some value for this one. I am giving some type. And here I am giving some output. Here I am writing the condition at terminal 2. See U2 is the terminal 2. Here three conditions are available. U2 greater than threshold, U2 greater than threshold, U2 not equal to 0. This is a threshold value. Any value you can give. Here I am giving some value 3. Threshold value is 3. So here, this constant value you can give any value. Suppose I want to give it 2. Whatever the value you want, based on your requirement, it's your problem. See now 2 greater than 3. The condition I given u2 greater than threshold means u2 value is 2, threshold value is 2, 2 greater than 3. If this condition is satisfied, then input 2 is the output. Oh, sorry, input 1 is the output. If this condition is not satisfied, input 3 is the output. See here, u2 greater than threshold, 2 greater than 3 means condition is not satisfied. Then the output is 15. That's what means the terminal 3 is the output. Whatever the value is at terminal 3, 
it is the that is the output simply execute it here 15 is the output level. the same thing is applicable for signals also take some any periodic signal signals are available signal blocks are available in source library so here i am taking a signal generator remove this box so connect to the signal generator here here i am giving one sign wave so sign and amplitude is one this frequency is radian per second i can give any frequency so i am giving two radians per second and here here i am taking one sort of any value data square wave sort of random and here i am taking sort of the frequency also will be two radians per second apply okay see here i am giving the same condition two greater than three if the condition is not satisfied so whatever the value i given u2 greater than three is not satisfied that's so, why the output three is the terminal three is the output means the output will form is sort of two you observe it so the output is the sort of two so you can display here i am displaying only one waveform you can display multiple waveforms on single scope that you can see here go for a settings and curation property here number of input ports is put three and the layout vertical layout it is three terminals three and simply press apply so here we get you can observe multiple waveforms with a common time range this common time range is simulation time you see the 10 is the simulation time if the here you change the time your x axis time also will get changed see here here this is the input 1 this is the input 3 this is output This is input one. You can you can write you can display the name also. Come to the parameter, you will write input one. Provide it for more clearly. This is input three. Suppose if you change the condition, uh, u2 greater than or equal to 3 square. Now the condition is satisfied. 2 is greater than or equal to 2. Condition is satisfied. That then so the input 1 is the output. Okay, means you can observe here. Input 1 is the input. Input one is the output. Okay, this you can work with the switch block and the source block. Thank you very much. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.